Welcome to today's video, where we'll be delving into an invisible yet serious threat. Bacteria. These microscopic organisms inhabit nearly every corner of our world, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, and from the hottest deserts to the coldest tundra. They're on every surface we touch, in the air we breathe, and even inside our own bodies. In fact, it's estimated that the human body houses 10 times more bacterial cells than human cells. Now, before you start panicking, here's some reassurance. The vast majority of these bacteria are harmless, and many are even beneficial, helping us digest food, produce vitamins, and fend off harmful pathogens. However, a small fraction of these bacteria can cause serious illnesses, making them a threat we cannot ignore. Now that we understand what bacteria are, let's explore their potential dangers. Bacteria can cause diseases such as the flu, salmonella, and infections. These tiny organisms are deceptively powerful, capable of wreaking havoc on our health. When harmful bacteria invade our bodies, they multiply and disrupt normal bodily functions, leading to illness. Some bacteria produce toxins that damage tissues and organs. Others directly invade and destroy healthy cells. The transmission of bacteria is as varied as the bacteria themselves, but there are three main ways these microscopic invaders spread. First, let's consider direct contact. This can occur when an infected person touches another person. Bacteria can also spread through the exchange of body fluids, such as when people kiss or share food or drinks. Next, we have airborne transmission. When someone with a bacterial infection coughs, sneezes or talks, they release tiny droplets. These droplets can carry bacteria into the air, where they can be inhaled by people nearby. This is why it's so important to cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze, and to maintain a safe distance from those who are ill. Finally, bacteria can spread through contaminated surfaces. These surfaces, often referred to as fomites, can include anything from door handles and light switches, to cell phones and keyboards. When you touch a contaminated surface and then touch your face, you might inadvertently give bacteria a one-way ticket into your body. But it's not just about understanding how bacteria spread. It's also about knowing where they thrive. Bacteria love warm, moist environments. They can multiply rapidly in places like kitchens, bathrooms and healthcare facilities. That's why regular cleaning and disinfecting of these areas is so crucial. In a nutshell, bacteria are incredibly adaptable, and they're always looking for an opportunity to spread. They can travel through the air, survive on surfaces, and transfer from person to person with ease. But armed with the right knowledge, we can outsmart them. By understanding how bacteria spread, we can take steps to protect ourselves and others, effectively minimizing the dangers these tiny organisms pose. Knowing how bacteria spread equips us with the knowledge to minimize their dangers. One of the simplest ways to protect yourself from bacteria is through effective hand and surface hygiene. Let's start with our hands, our primary tools of interaction with the world around us. They come into contact with countless surfaces each day, and each interaction is an opportunity for bacteria to hitch a ride. Regular hand washing then becomes our first line of defense against these microscopic invaders. But how should we wash our hands effectively? It's not just a quick rinse under the tap. It's about taking at least 20 seconds to thoroughly clean all parts of your hands with soap and water. Pay attention to the backs of your hands, between your fingers, and under your nails, where bacteria can hide. And remember, drying your hands properly is just as important as washing, because damp hands can attract more bacteria. Now let's turn our attention to the surfaces around us. These can be hotspots for bacterial activity, especially those frequently touched like door handles, mobile phones and keyboards. Disinfecting these surfaces regularly can help keep bacteria at bay. But it's not just about how often we clean, it's about how we clean. Using a household disinfectant is a good start, but make sure you're following the instructions on the label. Some disinfectants need to be left on the surface for a few minutes to be effective. And remember, cleaning and disinfecting are two different things. Cleaning removes dirt and most germs, while disinfecting kills bacteria that may remain. Equally important is to keep our personal items clean. Things like mobile phones, glasses, and even our clothes can harbor bacteria, so ensure they're cleaned and disinfected as needed. 
In the fight against bacteria, our actions matter. The simple acts of washing our hands and disinfecting surfaces can make a significant difference in our health and well-being. So, let's make these practices a part of our regular routine, not just something we do during a health crisis. With these hygiene practices, we can significantly reduce the risk of bacterial infections. A robust immune system is the best defense against bacterial infections, but how do we ensure our immune system is in tip-top shape? The answer is simple, through a balanced diet. What we consume directly impacts our body's ability to fight off pathogens, and certain foods can greatly enhance our immune response. Fruits and vegetables, for instance, are packed with essential vitamins and antioxidants. These nutrients bolster our immune system, helping it to detect and eliminate harmful bacteria more efficiently. Proteins, too, play a vital role. They're involved in building and repairing body tissues and producing antibodies that combat infections. Foods high in protein include fish, poultry, beans, and nuts. So remember, every meal is an opportunity to strengthen your immune system. Include a variety of fruits, vegetables, and proteins in your diet, and your body will thank you. By maintaining a well-balanced diet, we can fortify our body's natural defenses against bacteria. In the fight against bacterial infections, antibiotics play a crucial role. These powerful medicines are designed to kill or slow the growth of bacteria, helping our bodies to overcome infections. However, antibiotics are not a one-size-fits-all solution. While they are effective against bacteria, they do not work against viral infections like the common cold or flu. Misusing antibiotics for such instances can lead to antibiotic resistance, a serious global health concern. Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria evolve in response to the use of these medicines. The bacteria change in ways that render the antibiotics ineffective, creating superbugs that are harder to kill. These superbugs can be challenging to control and can lead to severe illnesses, prolonged recoveries, and in some cases, can even be fatal. This is where the concept of responsible antibiotic use comes in. Responsible use means only taking antibiotics when they are prescribed by a healthcare professional. It involves following the prescribed dosage and duration, even if you start feeling better before the course is finished. Cutting corners or self-medication can give bacteria a chance to survive and become resistant. Additionally, it's important to never share or use leftover antibiotics. What worked for one person or one illness may not be appropriate for another. Each antibiotic is chosen carefully based on the type of bacteria causing an infection. Using the wrong antibiotic or using it incorrectly can promote antibiotic resistance. It's also crucial to prevent infections in the first place by maintaining good hygiene, getting vaccinated, and leading a healthy lifestyle. This reduces the need for antibiotics and thereby decreases the likelihood of resistance developing. In conclusion, antibiotics are a valuable tool in our fight against bacterial infections. However, their power can diminish if they are misused or overused. As such, it's our responsibility to use them appropriately to ensure their efficacy for future generations. Responsible use of antibiotics is key in the ongoing battle against bacteria. Combating bacteria requires not only individual efforts, but also communal actions. The fight against bacteria is a collective one, where every person plays a significant role. This battle is won not only in our homes, but also in our communities. In this shared space, our actions can drastically impact the health and safety of others. Public awareness of hygiene is a vital aspect of this communal effort. By consciously practicing good hygiene habits, we help reduce the spread of bacteria in public spaces. This means washing our hands regularly, covering our mouths when we cough or sneeze, and respecting public health guidelines. Adherence to health guidelines is equally important. These guidelines are designed to protect us, and by following them, we help protect our community as well. Remember, our individual actions shape our collective health. Together, we can create a safer environment for everyone. In these 10 minutes, we've taken a comprehensive look at the danger of bacteria and highlighted ways to effectively protect yourself. We've journeyed into the microscopic world of these invisible threats 
unveiling their potential dangers and how they can transmit diseases. We've explored the importance of maintaining effective hand and surface hygiene, a simple yet powerful tool in our defense. We've also underscored the role of nutrition and a robust immune system in fortifying our bodies against bacterial invasions. We've shed light on the critical role of antibiotics and the importance of their responsible use to prevent antibiotic resistance. We've also discussed how community efforts and public health measures play a significant role in combating bacteria. Armed with this knowledge, you can help keep the invisible threat at bay. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to share it. Stay healthy, and until next time.